Hello friends, welcome back to my GB channel. So in this today topic, uh, we'll discuss the different types of fluid flow. So I have taken steady flow and unsteady types of fluid flow. So as we know, it, uh, there are different types of fluid flow in the fluid mechanics course, like uh, steady flow, unsteady flow is one type, laminar flow, turbulent flow, one dimensional flow, two dimensional flow, three dimensional flow, and as well as uniform flow, non-uniform flow. So all these are all types of uh, uh, fluid flow uh, will be studied by both mechanical engineers and as well as civil engineers in the fluid mechanics course. So in today's class, so what we'll discuss is uh, uh, the definition and some uh, real practical applications of study flow and unsteady flow. Uh, in which pipe will stay study flow and uh, in which pipe it goes to unsteady flow. Okay. So let's start with the definition of a study flow and unsteady flow. So first I have taken one small definition here. Study flow is defined as a type of flow because I told you there are different types of fluid flows in fluid mechanics concepts. So in which the fluid characteristics like velocity, acceleration, pressure, density, etc. at a point do not change with respect to time. So this is the definition of the study flow. So what does it mean? Uh, it means uh, it defined as a type of flow in which fluid characteristics or you can use the word fluid behaviors or you can use the word fluid properties properties of the fluid what are the different types of properties like velocity is one property it is a flow property acceleration is also one property pressure is one property density is also one property of the fluid flow so not only these four types you can take any other properties like specific gravity whatever uh, all the properties or the characteristics or uh, the behavior of the fluid so the, do not change with respect to time that type of flow is called as a steady flow so let us consider one example uh, for example i have taken one pipe okay so in which some liquid is flowing through so it may be water it may be oil any anything any liquids let us consider one point because in the definition he said clearly at a point so i have taken this point so this point is located at a distance of x from the inlet of the pipe and it is located at a y height from the bottom surface or top surface of the pipe so now you are considering the one property like for example velocity v and as well as uh, the density or acceleration or pressure which are maybe the property so at particular point with uh, some time for example you are measuring the properties at nine o'clock in the morning what is the velocity velocity is 10 meter per second so after some time after a period of time uh, the velocity should be same that is 10 meter per second at the same point do not check it look at change the location so at that particular point after some period of time if the velocity is same that is called as steady flow if the velocity is changing with respect to time that will call it as unsteady flow so not only velocity you take any properties for example density is also changing uh, that is called as unsteady flow if the density rho at that particular point at a given time it is constant then it is called as steady flow okay uh, what is unsteady flow is the type of flow in which the fluid characteristics or fluid behavior you can use the word or you can use the word properties it is also correct such as velocity is one property pressure acceleration density at a point change with time it will change with the time here it will do not change with time for example the same pipe you take here some liquid is flowing through this pipe and we know the basic uh, concept of the fluid flow when the fluid is flowing from one point that is inlet to outlet it is due to pressure difference okay now 
uh, you take at a point some point this point is located at a height of uh, distance of x and height of y from the bottom plane okay so at this point if all the velocity pressure density and uh, acceleration is changing with respect to time you measured all these four properties in the morning 10 o'clock the properties are different than the measured at in the noon 2 pm then all four properties are changes then it is called as unsteady flow so let us consider some small examples uh, where we can see the steady flow structure of a fluid and unsteady flow here i have taken some examples and dear students here look at this flow of water in the mountain here it is there so dear students here just to see the flow or structure of water which is flowing falling from a certain height to the ground and uh, here the properties of this fluid the properties of fluid are, does not change with respect to here the flow of water here the properties you can take any property velocity or density some paper density is constant here the velocity is also constant so this type of is called as a steady flow but here here it is changing the structure is also changing with respect to certain points certain time so it is called as unsteady flow uh, look at the same one more diagram here here is a, this is a pipe in which some fluid is flowing through this pipe so here is a some wall okay when the wall is in open condition the liquid will flow through easily so the properties inside the flow inside the pipe does not changes like for example if the velocity is also not change density is not the same it is same flow but when you know, suddenly if you close the wall there is a change in the structure of the fluid flow the properties velocity will also changes density will also changes sometime it depends upon the type of fluid you use and as well as the acceleration will also change so all properties will change uh, suddenly so that type of uh, flow is called as an unsteady flow uh, look at another example here steady flow and unsteady flow processes here uh, look at the screen there is one pipe in which the fluid is flowing with a velocity of 5 meter per second this is the one property velocity and at three different points at this one point second point third point at three different locations the temperature of the fluid is 300 250 and 150 degrees celsius respectively this fluid is coming outside the pipe the properties of this temperature and this velocity is measured at time 9 am the temperature at 9 am is 300 at the temperature at uh, 9 am is 250 at the middle of the pipe and the temperature of the fluid at the last point during the exit condition it is at 150 degrees celsius so after some time that is at uh, 11 o'clock if you are measuring the, or taking the values of properties conducting an experiment the velocity is also same 5 meter per second the temperature 300 is also same at the point location number 1 the at location number 2 it is 250 and the location number 3 is 150 degrees celsius so this condition values same as in the first condition so then this type of flow it is called as steady flow steady flow if the temperature in each location is changing with respect to time that is called as unsteady flow for example at point number 1 instead of 300 uh, it becomes uh, 400 at 11 o'clock then that is unsteady flow in the third location it is 150 in the point number 1 that is at 9 am after some time period of time at 11 o'clock if the temperature at the third point if it is going to lesser than or more than 150 degree celsius then it is called as unsteady flow okay so these are the examples of uh, steady flow and unsteady flow and dear students in the next uh, video we will discuss the laminar flow and the turbulent flow so thank you so much for watching this video